Hello everybody, this is Dr. Paul Terrio, and I'd like to thank you for watching my video about naturopathic medicine. I hope to explain what naturopathic medicine is and how it can benefit you in a few short minutes. Um, so let's get started. The basic question I get asked much of the time is, what is naturopathic medicine? Naturopathic medicine, to be perfectly honest, is a style of medicine. It's a way of looking at health and disease and a way of working with various remedies in order to you know, promote health and promote a good life and promote a wonderful life for you. It does this in a way that's a little bit different than conventional medicine. Rather than diagnosing and treating disease, naturopathic medicine works to help your body restore itself to health. It does this from a, with a couple of uh, methods. It starts by creating the conditions for health, which basically in most cases means diet, lifestyle, environmental issues, such as, you know, toxins in your environment, and, and also your social relationships, making sure you've got basically the environment your body requires in order to become healthy. Once that part is over, and once we've, you know, created a good environment for you, we'll, we'll stimulate your vitality. We'll basically promote your body's ability to re-regulate itself, to re-establish its own sense of normal rhythms, cycles, functions, things like that. After that, we generally will tonify any weak organs. Sometimes after stimulating the vitality, there are certain tissues, certain organs that may just lag behind a little bit, and we'll pay some specific attention to them. We usually do this with, you know, botanical medicine and so forth. After that, we will address any specific musculoskeletal problems. Um, sometimes we might do this a bit earlier, particularly if, you know, a person is in debilitating musculoskeletal pain. I don't personally do a lot of this, but I do have a number of colleagues who do, and I do have a number of referral sources I do uh, use quite frequently. There's a chiropractor in my clinic who I use very often, as well as a massage therapist and some osteopaths um, in, um, towards, the, towards around 17th Avenue that I uh, am very fond of. And lastly, if all of that stuff doesn't completely relieve you, we will address pathology. Sometimes we need to address pathology first if there is a potentially serious life-threatening pathology that you know could interfere with the course of treatment or could you know cause severe and irreversible damage or death. Um, I will often work with MDs, like conventional physicians, to do this, although I can do it myself as well in most cases. How is it that I do this? This becomes perhaps one of the major issues in naturopathic medicine that distinguishes it from conventional medicine. The, my, the main methods that I personally use are homeopathy, drainage, which is similar to detox, but it's much more personalized and much more gentle and for longer periods of time. So basically, in essence, instead of doing it in like a two-week fast or a two-week diet with supplements and so forth, we'll do this for six months with a very reasonable diet. There will be an, I will be creating a, a session about or a video about diet soon, so we'll explain all about that later. Um, I also use a lot of ear acupuncture, particularly for stimulating specific parts of the body. And of course, I do do a great deal of herbal medicine. So what do I use these, these modalities to do? Well, primarily with diet, I will, help, I will help a person to replace unhealthful foods with better ones and to heal the digestion with various supplements. It's quite rare that I will actually not allow anyone to have anything ever do the you know elimination diet that's very popular nowadays I do what I like to term a substitution diet instead of this food you have this one which tastes almost the same but is much healthier for you and so forth um, if someone's digestion is very compromised I will generally address that through a number of supplements and a number of you know drainage products and things of that nature which will help to heal the digestion and make the and combine with the diet in order to make that basic component for health functional in the body. Drainage. I will definitely help. I generally will use my drainage remedies to help remove any kind of toxicity, any kind of excess chemistry that's in that's you know throwing the body out of balance. This can take time. Drainage is a very slow process, but it's a very effective one and a very gentle one, and it reaches very deep into the cells and tissues versus some of the detox therapies, which certainly are effective, but they tend to only address more surface type things, more things in the extracellular matrix 
outside of the deeper organ and uh, muscle tissues. I use ear acupuncture mostly to stimulate the body to heal itself. It's a very interesting modality that way in that you can specifically target, for instance, a particular organ or a particular joint or a particular tissue to stimulate itself, repair itself, and return to its old level of functional organization, its old level of you know, how well it worked before you were ill. And homeopathy is one of my chief modalities, and it's one of the ones I'm most fond of. It does so much for a person. It kind of reorganizes their whole mo their whole mind. It helps them get unstuck from where they were stuck before. And in addition to that, it will often to shift some of the deepest pathologies. It doesn't shift them completely or cure them completely all the time, in my experience. Because um, if it did, medicine would be easy. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But I still find it a very effective tool. So this picture here refers to the course of therapy. I'll be explaining this picture in a, over the next few slides, but this is the basic outline of what will be what occurs when you go to see a naturopathic doctor like myself. Um, if we can consider, you know, the up-down axis health and the side-to-side -side axis time, we'll get a good idea. So as time goes by, your health varies depending on where you are in the course of your therapy. So higher up on that ac on the health axis means you're doing healthier. So in this slide, we see what happens during the initial visit. Um, a person comes in, they're in a relatively low state of health, and we perform an initial evaluation and we start with the more basic therapies. Usually at this point, I do diet. I do perhaps a little bit of drainage. Um, I might try a little bit of, you know, organotherapy, something to stimulate the body to do things. I might also do have to refer if you have a, a pathology that's quite severe that I don't think I can address, or you just need a musculoskeletal therapy more than, you know, you need to see me right now. Sometimes I'll send people off to a chiropractor or an osteopath or a massage therapist if that's the primary issue. And it, it isn't that often, but sometimes that does happen. So anyway... In this course, we usually, in this, you know, initial visit, people usually experience a good increase in their health for a good while as we end up solving their problems, as their body returns to its natural state of health. Uh, in this slide, we can see, you know, the person is, their health is literally improving. They've got a resolution and reduction of most of their initial problems and symptoms. At this point, most people kind of expect to feel this good forever. And it would be nice if that was the case, but it very rarely is. Most people um, have multiple problems in their body. And when you solve one, when you recover health-wise from one, quite often another one will come up. People will come in, for instance, if they came in initially with, with um, kind of an anxiety problem. And you know, after the first couple of visits, we've you know, helped their anxiety problem a lot. But now their digestive system is, is not working quite as well. They're getting gassy. They're getting bloated. That Your body, when it recovers from a primary issue, from an issue that's occupying a lot of your resources in terms of your health, will often, when it recovers from that issue, will often move its attention somewhere else. And you'll develop symptoms somewhere else. So, as in this slide... We, this is not a sign that naturopathic medicine has, has failed or that it doesn't work. It's a sign that your body is getting so healthy that it can address bigger and bigger issues. At this point, what I need from you is I need you to come in and see me again so that we can address this, so that we can develop a new treatment plan to work out whatever is bothering your body at this point. When we do this, we get a second improvement we get a second period in which you feel better. And in fact, not only better, but better than you did in the first improvement period. Their body starts to resolve this other issue and another problem will come up. Again, what I need from you at this point is to return, let me know, tell me what's happening to you so that we can come up with a treatment plan that will address everything that, that's occurring. If we do, if we keep up with that, eventually, you know, those ups and downs kind of level out 
and we get into what's called maintenance care. These people are some of my favorite patients. They're just a joy to be with because, you know, quite often they'll come in once every six months, once a year, once every four months, depending on, depending on them. And they'll just sit and talk about a basic problem they had. They may have had an exposure at work, which made them feel kind of funny. You know, um, an environmental exposure that kind of made them feel just a bit headachy and achy and so forth. We'll do a little drainage. They may come in and talk, just talk about their lives and where they are at emotionally and any kind of problems they're having. Some of those patients are just wonderful. They'll go and take me to their deepest self and we'll get a homeopathic in 20 or 30 minutes, whereas most people it takes an hour. These are my maintenance patients, and I have a program called the uh, Four Seasons of Health where I do see them regularly and so forth just to maintain a person's good health and to make sure that they stay healthy um, well into old age. This is the ultimate goal I have for all of my patients is to get them to this area. So if you think this kind of a process would be good for you, um, this is what I usually do in my first visit. This will, of course, change depending on your individual uh, patient needs, your conditions that you're coming with, and what you're able to do. But usually what I do with people is almost everyone gets some diet changes. And these are you know, quite easy diet changes. They're more substitutions. Buy this kind of bread instead of that kind of bread. This kind of pasta instead of that kind of pasta. You know, Try and switch your drinks around and, and so forth. Very easy stuff. And usually I'll give them a little bit of an initial treatment, um, something like a drainage remedy, something like ear acupuncture or some basic supplementation, or a homeopathic if their primary problem is psychological. I'll also generally schedule further evaluations if needed. I may need to send you off for some lab tests, some lab evaluations, or a referral to a specialist to get a more thorough workup than what I'm able to do here as a, a single practitioner. After this, what I need from you is I need you to give me honest feedback. Are you going to do this stuff that I'd, I'm asking you to do? Are you able to do it? Sometimes it's not a matter of you know wanting to do something or not. Sometimes it's just a matter of being incapable of doing this at this point in your life. That's fine. I will work with you wherever you're at. I also need you to keep track of your symptoms. Are they getting better, worse, not changing at all? Are you having a return of old symptoms? Is something that you had in the past kind of coming back to bug you? This is actually a very good sign. And if you watch my homeopathy video, I will discuss the return of old symptoms quite a lot. It's a sign, very similar to what we discussed above, that the body is able to deal with older problems now, that the newer problems, usually the ones that are on the surface that are bugging people the most, are being solved. Um, and is there a discharge? Or is your body, you know, leaking in terms of diarrhea, in terms of urinary tract stuff, in terms of um, just discharges from the nose or ears or anything? If so, that's that's also pretty important for me to know. The biggest thing I need for you is to keep me informed. Tell me how your health is doing. I mean, I want to know if there's a change in your health. This is really important for the course of our therapy. And mismanaging these kind of things can make our therapy much longer and much more challenging and much more difficult if we don't uh, do this. Second visit, we'll usually do an evaluation of your progress after your initial program is, is, um, has been in place for a little while, and we'll address any new issues that emerge. And we'll begin to start to get a feeling for longer-term issues. Most people don't come in for with long-term problems in mind. They come in with short-term ones. And we realize that most short-term problems are really expressions of deeper health issues, longer-term health issues. And we'll begin to get a feel for them. We will, probably won't address them on the second visit, but what we will um, we'll do is start to get a hint at where they might be laying and where the bulk of the work, the really important work for your health, will be lying. What I need for you from after the second visit is, again, honest feedback. Is what we're doing working? Because if it's not working, it's not working. We need to change it. We need to do something else. Not everything I do works immediately. Sometimes I, you know, the things that I do take a few months to to set into action. Sometimes things I have prescribed once or twice things that just didn't work, period. We need to change therapies. We need to try something else if that is the case. And I need you to tell me that. You need to keep track, again, keep track of your symptoms. Are they better? Are they old? Are they returning? 
Is there no change at all? And we need to continue to work on your plan. Sometimes after a couple of months, people kind of don't follow through with their plans as much as they sh as they used to, and we just need to you know keep on keep on keeping on, keep up the effort, and so forth. As well, one of the more important things is: Are you having any acute illnesses, any colds, any flus, anything like that? Um, sometimes acute illnesses are one of the body's most efficient ways of detoxing itself, of clearing out all sorts of old garbage and toxins and things that it can't get rid of otherwise. If this is happening to you, I want to know. I want to know that you're getting sick, and I want to know how you're getting sick. And I'd like you to tell me about that, because um, sometimes treating these kind of illnesses wrong with conventional medications that just stop the discharges, that stop the fevers, that stop your body from having any kind of response, period, can make this worse. So I, I just need you to keep me, um, help me, um, help me understand what's going on with your body. I need the information, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, mouth straight from you, so that I can, I can know what's going on, and so that we can deal with this appropriately and effectively. I also need you to know, as we discussed above, that if a new problem emerges, or an, an old problem that you used to have, or you just start feeling you know, differently than you, you did when you came in, that's fine. That's normal. That's part of what we expect to have happen. We need you, I need you to tell me these changes that you're feeling, and then we can address them as well. So later visits, quite often people will feel a very happy feeling. They'll feel really good, and then the rise, and they start to think, you know, that was just a brief happy period. And that their normal baseline feeling, that you know, usual level of kind of half unhappy, just getting by feeling that they're used to is really what's happening. And you know, that's not true. People can live in that kind of happy, euphoric, blissful state all the time. But what that means is the next issue your body wants to address is coming up. Um, we may need, we may need to come up with a new program or do some new evaluations to figure out what that is, but there's definitely a lot we can do for it. And so I really got like I just can't emphasize that enough. Come back, tell me what's going on. We can do something about it. Um, at this point in later phases, we may also decide that what's needed is not something that I can provide. I may have to refer for other therapies, either conventional or you know, a musculoskeletal therapy, such as massage, chiropractic, or osteopathic therapies. I may also need to refer for more of a, you know, a counseling kind of thing, a more of a, a psychotherapy type issue, if that's what's emerging. And if so, you know, we'll do that. What I need from you at this point is I just need you to remember, again, new feelings, new problems aren't a bad thing. They're a good thing. They mean your body is getting down to the the meat of its problems. It's getting down to the nitty gritty of it, and it's able to address deeper issues. I need you to keep me informed. If you're feeling better, good, good things that are happening, and also the bad things that are happening. Eventually, we get into this steady state of health where the ups and downs are quite minor, and we simply keep people in a state of health, and we keep them growing and learning along their life path. We treat whatever comes up whether it's an acute illness such as a cold, a flu, or a bout of diarrhea, and we will treat any emerging chronic issues. Quite often people can sometimes get into a steady state for even years, and then something will come up later on. If that happens, you know, we can deal with it. Usually what I do is um, I'll have people come in every five to six months, and we will do whatever seasonal and periodic programs that, that um, are necessary. I am in the process of creating a, a seasonal detox program for most of my, my long-term patients. And um, that's actually looking to be quite fun to do a seasonal um, drainage and uh, detoxification program to make sure that any toxins don't accumulate within people, that we do at, gener at certain periods a general cleanse just to make sure everything's working well, like a tune-up of your car. So that's I will keep you all informed about that when that comes up. And again, last thing. What I need from you in my long-term programs, keep me informed. Keep coming, keep telling me about the good and the bad that's happening in your life. Send me an email if something huge has happened, and we'll talk about it. And keep coming to your visits. We can't do maintenance if you don't come. So I, we can't keep you on that high up place if you're just not coming to see me. So I, I very much urge you to do that. And if you've got any 
questions about this, please feel free to email me. My email is drpaulterio.nd at gmail.com. And my business phone number is, you know, on the board. And you can also check on my website, drpaulterio.com. And yeah, I hope you've learned a lot from this. I really like doing these videos for you all, and I'm hoping to do quite a few in the future. So I want you to take care of yourselves, and hopefully we'll meet soon. Bye.